healing, our covenant blessing. Luke chapter 13, verses 10 to 17. Now, when he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath, behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bent over and could in no way raise herself up. When Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said to her, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. But the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath. And he said to the crowd, There are six days on which men ought to work. Therefore come and be healed on them, and not on the Sabbath. The Lord answered him and said, Hypocrite, does not each one of you on the Sabbath lose his ox or donkey from the stall and lead it away to water it? So ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound, think of it, for 18 years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath? And when he said these things, all his adversaries were put to shame, and all the multitude rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. During this healing week, we were talking about God's healing available to us as believers. I want to point out from this passage about healing as Jesus presented it. He saw this woman who had been in a bent over condition. She had a very debilitating condition in her back and she was bent over for 18 years. And Jesus releases her from that and he recognizes that condition as a work of the devil. And this is what he says, she being a daughter of Abraham, she should be loosed from this bond because Satan has bound her. So you see, here was a woman who was in covenant with God. She was a daughter of Abraham. That's what it means, in covenant with God through Abraham's covenant. But Satan had bound her. Satan was violating the covenant. Satan was doing something unlawful. And Jesus heals her. Jesus sets her free. I want us to understand that healing and deliverance is part of our covenant with God. It's a covenant blessing, a part of this new covenant and it is our right. The enemy may try to violate it, but it's our covenant blessing and we can receive it. As we pray, I want you to say, God, this is my covenant right to be healed, to be whole. I receive it and you will be healed. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for anyone listening. If there's any evil work of the devil in their bodies or minds, in Jesus' name, I rebuke it, I command it to leave, and I release them from it. And Lord, let your covenant blessing of healing flood their bodies and minds, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.